I used to have a heat press without a cutter and boy has this been a game changer to have the heating element and the cutting blade all in one. The heat gauge is based on time. So if you turn the heat gauge up, the red light will turn on and it'll stay on longer. It's gonna be the same temperature though. And if you turn it down, it'll stay on less. And so depending on how thick your poly bag is will depend on how hot you need it to get. So this is how I would package something up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a string inside this poly bag. And first, you don't need a cut. Let's just start with the heating element. And it's actually really quick as you'll see. Now I can pull this out beyond where I need to be. And guess what's next? You can heat it and as it goes, cut it and you've got your finished product. Then from that point, you can staple on a header card or something like this. And then it's just gonna look so, so clean and it's super quick. So coming in close, you'll see there's a wire here that goes underneath this pad. That's the heating element right there. And then you'll see the cutter, a blade that's right in there. And the screw, you can totally uh, change that blade if you need to. I've done thousands of cuts and we've never needed to change it yet. And then it's spring loaded. So it's a little bit of pressure for the spring. Push it down, turns on and off. You've got one through eight. So you'll be able to do poly bags up to 10 or 12 millimeter. Like you'll be able to do such thick bags, it's ridiculous. A very simple tool, but it works out great. What we've done is put a dowel down here with a massive roll of this poly material, the one we use the most. And then we bring that over underneath here. So now we can just pull it out, no problem. Nice and easy whenever we need to for our heat press. Works out great, no complaints about it. Very happy with it.